Uh, well, now to a, a great art project that took a team effort. Hundreds of first and second graders from 10 different Milwaukee area schools worked together to create a massive quilt, and it's on display right now at the Milwaukee Art Museum. Linda Kohler is the executive director of the Sharp Literacy Program. John McMahon is the teacher at Milwaukee's Business and Economics Academy. And right here we have Thomas Lacey, Jr. He is a student there. So we're going to start by talking a little bit about the program and then to the quilt. What is Sharp Literacy? Sharp Literacy is a program um, that we energize our young um, urban school children um, education and reading skills through their use of visual art. So it's a very unique way of, of learning and teaching the kids. I think that's fantastic. What about the Bee Quilt Project? How did it get started and what is it? Sure, the Bee Quilt started um, all about eight months ago. And it's, uh, um, again, we, we um, help the kids learn by using visual art. So part of our first grade curriculum is the Busy Bee Book. Okay. story of Bella. So kids like Thomas read this story. Exactly. And okay. the inspiration, um, so the different vocabulary words that the children learn through the, the book and through the, the student and um, teacher workbook, they um, illustrated. We had our, our um, uh, visual art specialist and our um, author and um, artist to work with the kids in the school to come up with the different illustrations from the, the Bella the Bee, which is all about growing and pollination. So we had over 500 kids have illustrations that from there we um, gave it to our um, quilter and there was inspiration for the, the different quilts. There's four of them for the different seasons. So you have spring, winter, summer, and fall. Exactly. And so they learn about that type of language too in describing the seasons and different things that happen through the passage of the year, which is a great way to read and learn about chronology and all of that, about that. What about the, you mentioned that there were more than 500 students involved. So they did the drawing part and then the artist actually she did the, the sewing and the, the putting the together. Did, exactly. The artist did um, his thing and developed it and designed it, and then we handed it off to our quilter, um, Terry Kirchner. And from there, it was um, beautiful. beautiful. And yeah. what we have here is summer. And Thomas, you helped do the part that I'm pointing to right here, which if people can see, I'll maybe pull it up just a little bit so people can see, is the, the squirrel that's kind of in the, the, the circle of the tree, and here is a bee. Was this a fun project to work on? It was really fun. What did you learn as, uh, as part of doing this project? That other kinds of birds can come with summer and different types of flowers. Yes, yeah, so you learned specifically about summer because your part of the drawing was, was summer. There are four different parts of the quilt. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. It was like the tree and the bees. What, what season of quilt is your favorite? Like fall. Okay, yeah, we didn't bring fall today. <laughs> but I think it's a good reason for people to visit the Milwaukee Art Museum because they can see fall. And I know that you've been to the museum and seen, you've seen the four quilts. What was it like for you to go to a big museum and see your work? Well, I've never done it before and it was like really fun for me because I've never done it before. Yeah, I would think. What grade are you going into? Second grade. Is this something that you would say to other kids, hey, this is a good idea, this is a fun thing to do? Yes. You'd recommend it? Yeah, a okay. Lot. A lot. Um, and John, talk a little bit about what you think the children learned as, as part of participating in this project, because I know Thomas was in your classroom last year, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he was. I think the kids learned a lot about how, like, it really emphasizes that reading is important and you can read about anything and just reading about summer and fall, winter and spring and they can learn about what's going on around them at the time and they learned a lot of new vocabulary that they weren't aware of before. For sure. What's it like for kids, especially as young as Thomas, to go to something like the Milwaukee Art Museum and see their work highlighted like that? Oh, it was a great experience for them and it was a joy for me just to watch their eyes light up because like Thomas said, he's never been there before. And yeah. just, just to walk in the building and then when they saw their quilt of what they worked on, that I think it was it's awesome. fantastic. And we're looking at some of the pictures right now. Um, the quilts are on display right now. How long will the exhibit stay up? Through July 15th. Okay, so people have just till the end of this month, another week or so, and then a couple of weeks in July. What's the next step then for Sharp Literacy? What's coming up? What are you guys working on? We have um, a lot of great things we're working on. Um, Bella the Busy Bee was our 10th um, We Love to Learn book. So we're working on our 11th, which will be unveiled on September 23rd at our novel event. 
event with guest speaker Donald, uh, keynote speaker Donald Driver. Oh, and um, quickie. the book is yeah, quickie. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Um, so we unveil our book, which is all about um, weather in the Great Lakes, about oh. a salmon and a turtle. So from there, we'll hope to do another quilt or mural and keep the, keep the kids engaged. Will the kids get to meet him? We're hoping that we will have some of the kids at the novel event. Are you a Packers fan, Thomas? Yes. Yeah, you know who Donald Driver is, right? Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? A football player. Okay. That's pr I hope you, you do get to meet him then. That's fantastic. Here's the information so that you can check out this fantastic exhibit. It's the Be Quilt. Sharp Literacy is the program that we were talking about. The exhibit is going on now through July 15th. For more information, you can call 414-977-1768 or visit this website. It's sharpliteracy.org. A blast to have you on the show. Thanks, Thomas. You're welcome. Appreciate your time, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.